Who? 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 Who is Henry O. Flipper? Why is there a dinner and an award celebrating his legacy? Henry O. Flipper was born a slave in Thomasville, Georgia on March 21st, 1856. After the Civil War, Flipper started his education at the American Missionary Association and later attended Atlanta University. Early in 1873, he wrote to his congressman, James Freeman, and requested appointment to West Point. After some correspondence, Freeman nominated Flipper, who passed the required examinations and was admitted to West Point on July 1, 1873. Flipper persevered through four years of hardship at West Point, including racial slurs, violence, intimidation, and silence. Occasionally, when other black cadets were in attendance at the academy, he had roommates, but mostly he roomed alone. During his first year, he roomed with the first black cadet at West Point, James Webster Smith, ex-1874, who was expelled for failing physics. During his final year at West Point, Flipper roomed with Johnson C. Whitaker, ex-1880, who suffered through being beaten, investigated, and was later expelled for also failing physics. Throughout his four years at the Academy, no one spoke to Henry Flipper, except in the performance of official duties. Even though Flipper was ostracized at the Military Academy, he kept his eyes on the goal of graduation and navigated through the poor treatment he received with grace and dignity. He was not outspoken like Smith, and he did not raise issues of the chain of command like Whitaker. Flipper felt that the majority of cadets would have treated him with proper politeness, as it becomes a gentleman to do, had it not been for the control that a lower social element, representing the worst of American population, exerted over the rest of the Corps. Flipper felt that the officers treated him with courtesy and impartiality. At graduation, his perseverance earned him the grudging respect of his classmates, who applauded when he graduated. Flipper later wrote that as his classmates shook his hand, all signs of ostracism were gone. All felt as if I were worthy of some regard and did not fail to extend it to me. Flipper ranked 50th out of 76 in his class and excelled in engineering, law, French, and Spanish. After graduating, Flipper was assigned to the 10th Cavalry, the Buffalo Soldiers. During his service, he was stationed at Oklahoma and Texas. At Fort Sill, he served as the post engineer and constructed a ditch designed to drain several malarial swamps. In 1977, his engineering project was designated Flipper's Ditch and is now a National Historic Landmark. In 1881, at Fort Davis, where Flipper was the acting assistant quartermaster and acting commissary of subsistence, he was charged with embezzlement and conduct unbecoming an officer and a gentleman and court-martialed. He was acquitted of embezzlement but found guilty of conduct unbecoming and subsequently dismissed from the service. After leaving the military, he continued to work as an engineer. Later, he served in the Department of Justice as a special agent for the Court of Private Land Claims. Subsequently, he held several governmental jobs. He was a special assistant to the Secretary of the Interior, working with the Alaskan Engineering Commission, and an aide to the Senate Committee on Foreign Relations. He wrote several books, including his autobiography, The Colored Cadet at West Point, his memoirs, Black Frontiersman, The Memoirs of Henry O. Flipper, First Black Graduate of West Point, and Spanish and Mexican Land Laws, New Spain and Mexico, for the Department of Justice. Throughout the remainder of his life, Flipper worked to have his name cleared and his military rank restored. Henry Flipper died in Georgia in 1940 at the age of 84. In 1976, the Army reviewed his case and posthumously awarded an honorable discharge backdated to June 30, 1882. In 1999, President Clinton pardoned Henry O. Flipper. To put Flipper's time at West Point into perspective, the first black cadets entered West Point in 1870. From 1870 to 1889, 23 black cadets were nominated, 12 were admitted, and three graduated. Henry O. Flipper was the first in 1877, followed by John H. Alexander in 1887 and Charles Young in 1889. The Henry O. Flipper dinner has been a tradition since 1977, started on the centennial of Flipper's graduation. The Flipper Award is given annually to a graduating cadet who demonstrates the highest qualities of leadership, self-discipline, and perseverance in the face of unusual difficulties.